Good afternoon, good afternoon. It's Miss Donna coming live to you from good old Wilmington, Delaware in my car on my lunch break. I have 20 minutes left and I thought I'd come on here and say good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, darlings. It's kind of dark in here because this is the garage, so I'm in my car. But I just wanted to say to you guys to walk into your season. This is a new year, 2020, clear vision. This is a year where God wants to bless his people. God wants to take us places that we've only imagined. It's our time, it's our season. Walk into your wealthy place. The things that you accepted on last year, don't accept it on this year. If it was defeat, debt, it's time to cancel debt. Uh, if you want something you never had, you're going to have to do something different. Declare and decree that you're coming out this year. Bills shall be paid off debt. God's going to erase some debts. we looking for supernatural miracles. Yes, that house that you're looking for, that house that you dreamed about, you want to move out of projects, you want to move out the hood, you want better, you want better for you and your family, God's going to honor those prayers. The prayer of Jabez, enlarge my territory. Bless me indeed. Lord, I pray for increase. Now, I remember this time last year, the Lord showed me to get my book published. My baby was going to be published, and my book was published the end of last year. I mean, not the end of last year, the end of May of last year. And it happened. And this year, I'm believing God for the, the loans to be paid off. Supernaturally, God send the finances to pay off those loans. I thank you, God, for me moving into a new house. I thank God for favor on top of favor. The blessings of God make the, maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. I thank you, God, for expanding me. I thank you for allowing me to be a new author. I'm an inspirational author. And um, my book is called Laughter in the Rain by Donna L. Hall. It's on Amazon.com. And if you want an autographed copy, all you got to do is text me and I'll give you the information. If you want an autographed copy, then you have to mail me a money order. And it's $20 for an autographed copy and $5 for postage and handling. You'll get your USPS tracking information and I'll put your books in a bubble you know, envelope, and it comes with a, a, a bookmark. I have my own professional bookmarks. But Laughter in the Rain, if you want to know a little bit about the book, just go, go on Amazon.com, type in Laughter in the Rain by Donna L. Hall, and you can get a sneak preview of the book of what it's about. But it's very inspiring. It's a collaboration of uh Writings that the Lord gave me on various subjects, depression, stress, anxiety, uh, relationship problems. and it's, it's about children and important to stay in school, getting a good education. It's about life. And everything you're going through, God has a way to escape. God will make you laugh in the midst of the storm. Yes. And so I thank God for what he did for me on last year. But there are some new goals. And some new dreams and some new visions on this year that God is going to set in order. And I'm taking back everything that the enemy has stolen. You want to be uh, to the point where, like the Bible says, the kingdom of God suffered violence, but the violent take it back by force. You got to take back your stuff. You can't bring the old into the new. You, you want to be a lender and not a borrower. And God's going to change some things. God is changing. Change, change, change. God is changing some things around. Favor, favor is going to follow you wherever you go. Favor. 
shall follow you everywhere I go. And I know God's favor is upon my life. I believe God's going to cause people to just speak into my life. Speak into my life. And minister. And people just be a blessing. And just want to sow. And just like I hear God saying to sow into your ministry. And those of you want to sow into me. All you got to do. I have a cash app. And it's the dollar sign. Donna L. Hall. That's my cash app for anybody that wants to sow into what God's doing in my life. Cash app is dollar sign Donna L. Hall. And that's my cash app ID. But God is good. He's awesome. And I'm just trusting God. Yes, I am. And I'm more than a conqueror. More than a conqueror. And I thank God for my 15 grandchildren. And I have one great grandchild on the way. And so God is expanding my family. He's expanding me. He's enlarging my territory. And I thank God I'm 58. I'll be 59 years old on this year. June the 8th. Yes, 59. And I thank God for every year. I thank God for everything I've been through, hell and back. But he's been preparing me for where he's taking me. And I thank God for greatness. And I'm teaching my daughter, I'm teaching my children the fear of the Lord and how to trust God. And I thank God for my daughter because we're, we're walking together on one accord. And we speak in that word and speak in that word and we... Giving the word to the grandkids. And the grandkids, you know, now every day, every day, have Bible study before bed and say prayers. And we're just getting those affirmation out and confessing the word. Because I want it for me, my children, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren. You want to sow that word and get that word in them. And so I thank God for blessing me be Beyond my paycheck, I'm at work now, and I work in customer service. And I was a nurse for 15 years. Now I'm doing customer service, and I've been at this job. It'll be 17 years uh, this year, 17 years. So I can retire at 62. I'm 58 and a half. So I'm thanking God. He has so much for me to do. I just want to, I, I just had visions where God showed me of, People just giving me office space just to counsel people that are hurting and going through. And um, a TV, uh, somebody in a dream just put me on a TV show to talk about Jesus, talk about what God's doing. And like I'm doing these video clips right here on this cell phone, and in that vision, somebody said, you might be doing your live videos on Facebook or wherever, and they're just video clips, but God's going to have you to have a tripod, and you're going to be doing professional videos. And I'm like, thank you, Jesus, because I receive it. I receive it open doors. I receive favor, God. I receive your blessings. The things that God has been promising me back when I was a teenager of, of having this home, this place built that, that I would help the homeless and help give people word and encouragement and, and feed them and clothe them and, and, and offer them some type of training program where they can just get out here and get a place to stay. And I'm believing, God, that I would be able to come into the wealth to where I can be a blessing to people that are homeless and be able to offer somebody a place. Yes. To turn somebody's life around. Because it's hard out here. And I believe the Lord's going to use me. To be a blessing to many. And I know I've touched a lot of people's lives already. But it ain't. It ain't. No, 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 no. I ain't seen nothing yet. My latter days. Shall be greater. Than the former. And I thank you to God. For putting wisdom in me. To know how. To teach your word. 
and to help your people and to give my testimony on how you deliver me, how you healed my body, to teach others how they can become more than conquerors. God loves us. God loves us. And I thank God for and growing up I did I went through a lot and I've been through a lot for how God delivered me. And so I thank him. I thank him. He's a very present help in time of troubles. And when you delight yourself in the Lord, he shall give you the desires of your heart. God is still in the blessing plan. God still works miracles. And I know this is my season. God showed me in a vision, suddenly sees it. Things are going to happen for you suddenly. One moment you didn't have, the next moment it's just going to be in your hands. And God, I seen three angels. In my hand was three angels sitting in my hand. And they had these checks and said, go to the bank and cash them. And I was like, cash them? Ain't they going to ask me where I get all this money from? And the angel said, just do it. And so I walked into the bank and walked to the left. I remember the tellers and gave them the check. I signed it and they gave me the money. And I was like, oh my God. And these are just different visions of things. And my uh, God mom, she had a dream. I play this game called Fashion Story on Google Apps Fashion Story. I've been playing it for eight years. And my godmom had a dream that I had my own little boutique. And that's what the game is. But she said you had little, you had nice dresses in there. And they had scriptures in the collar. Dresses that are, uh, you can wear to church or, you know. And it had scriptures, the word of God in the, in the um, tags. And she said that you sold, it wasn't a big boutique. And she said you was, you, uh had hats, little hats. I like hats. You had hats in there, but simple. And you had little pieces of jewelry in, the, in your boutique. And maybe a few shoes, but you didn't have a lot in there. She said, but it was very, very nice. And she said, I was able to come in there and purchase something out of your boutique. And she said, it was very relaxing and calm in the atmosphere. See, that's the desires of my heart. But for somebody else to dream desires of my heart that's a blessing and I like wearing wigs I wear so many wigs I love wigs because my hair is fine and you know thinner and so I love wigs and I like change and in this vision I had it was this guy telling me that I have I was having or had my own wig line and I was like me my own wig line me because I would like to have wigs that fit make my face and the stuff that I like. And so sometimes I don't see the wig that I want to get. So if I could tell somebody how I want my own wigs designed for what I like, wouldn't that be awesome? And I could just see some styles I would create out of wigs. Oh, I'm telling y'all, God's going to do it for me. God's going to open them doors. I thank God for... This year, I believe in God to own my own home because I'm renting, and it's time to move forward. I'll be 59 this year. It's time to move forward. I want my own home. <clears throat> I'm tired of renting. I want my own, and I believe God's going to open them doors. God is doing it. It's already, he's moving by his spirit. He's moving, and he gave me the scripture to hold on to, Psalms 52 and 9. I will praise you, Lord, forever. For it's already done. It's already done. And this is my suddenly season. Suddenly it happened. Suddenly it appeared. God's going to bless his saints, his faithful ones. You might not know me as no big person uh, out there. I'm not Oprah Winfrey. I'm, you know, I'm not Sarah Jakes. But I'm the Lord's child. And were you going to remember my name, Miss Donna, Donna L. Hall. And God is going to supernaturally bless me. And all I want to do 
is to be a blessing like I'm already doing it, encouraging people every day, every day, encouraging somebody in the Word of God, sharing my testimonies of how I overcome, but mainly being a blessing, a blessing, a blessing. And I'm teaching my children, my grandchildren, and now I'm soon to be a great-grandmother and teaching them about the Lord. Yes. It's just wonderful. Um, God allowed me to live almost 59 years. And I just thank God. He's so good. He's so kind. He's so merciful. And how I was in several car accidents, one uh, total cars, total, and, and, and God just allowed me to almost walk away. God, I thank God for his goodness. I thank God. I can't begin to tell you everything, because when I think about it, I just... The tears come to my eyes because God has been my secret place. You know, Psalms 91, he that dwelleth in the secret place. He has been my secret place, my rock, <clears throat> my strong tower, my sanity, where I could have lost my mind. I've been through some devastation and relationships and different things. And that's why the Lord allowed me to write about this stuff. And... I could not be here now if it wasn't for the grace of God. The things he delivered me from. Used to drink and smoke weed and dance and party and 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 and, and, and that was very sexual promiscuous and I just did so many things and and some of it was acting out of or emotions because you looking for love and you just want to feel loved and you wanna feel worthy of somebody to love you for you and <clears throat> it was always in Jesus but I was looking for love in all the wrong places and God showed me he ain't gonna never find no another love like Jesus he said man will fail you you've been doing all the right things and man will still fail you but Jesus will never leave you nor forsake you. And we can't trust it. Sometimes we put our trust and confidence in people. We look to people to make us happy. We look to people and God says, look to me. I'm the author and finisher of your faith. And so he's always told me down through the years, I'm going to set your face like flint, which means stone. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Look straight ahead and say what I give you to say. He said in Jeremiah, he said, I'm going to give you the tongue of the learned. So he took his finger and touched my tongue and gave me the tongue of the learned. He said, fear not, but speak my word with power and authority. Because I'm going to cause you to rise up out of that ashes. And go forth into this world and propel men and women to come to the Lord. Showing and sharing Christ's love. What the world needs now is love. Love. Some people just want a hug. Some people just want to be heard. You don't know what they've been through. Some people don't look like what they've been through. But to have the compassion to listen to people that are hurting. The mother that didn't want to get the abortion. The mother that didn't want to give her job for adoption. There's a lot of people on the hard times. And they turn to drugs and alcohol and sexual promiscuity because they promiscuity because they they don't know the way out. They don't know. They don't know. Their family forsook them and turned their backs on them. They don't have 
homeless out in the street. And I just want to minister to the hurting. I've been there. Did that. Done that. And I had a guy that we took in our house for two years. A homeless guy. He was sleeping in the uh, woods. And we took him in for two years. And I just thank God. Because he is a deliverer. And he's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. So never forget where your blessings come from. In all your ways, acknowledge the Lord, and he shall direct your pathway. I'm Miss Donna. I got to get back to work. My time's up. But I love you so much. And those of you who want to sow any seed of any amount, my cash app ID is dollar sign Donna L. Hall. Dollar sign D O N N A L H A L L. I love you so much. And my book is on Amazon.com. It's called Laughter in the Rain by me, Donna L. Hall. And if you want an autograph copy, please let me know. Okay? I love you guys. Have a blessed day on purpose in Jesus' name. Bye bye.